Good afternoon, this is PR Ampure again for the second session of coding and the decoding sections from discrete mathematics. So, we shall see coding theory. See in the last class, uh, we saw that we are considering a binary set 0 1 Z 2 that is a Z 2 is a group under addition modulo 2. Z 2 cross Z 2 is a called Cartesian product of 0 1 that is we are going to have 4 such uh, uh, numbers 2 dimensional numbers 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1, but for the sake of simplicity we write it as 0 0 0 1 1 0 these are all words of length 2 sometimes written as a 1 a 2 where each a 1 a 2 is 0 or 1. Similarly, if I take the Cartesian product for 3 times z 2 cross z 2 cross z 2 is 0. 0 and such 8 types of combinations we are going to get that is a triple 0, 1 0 0, 0 1 0 all these up to 1 1 1. So, this is of the type a 1 a 2 a 3 where each a 1 a 2 a 3 belongs to z 2. Similarly, you can extend this for 4 dimensional, 5 dimensional each consisting of 0 1 or 1 0. So, in general z 2 cross z 2 cross n times the Cartesian product written as z 2 to the power n consists of a string of length n then or it is written as a 1 comma a 2 comma a 3 comma a n interchangeably these two are written each of them belong to z 2 means either they are 0 or 1. So, that is written here a is either 0 or 1. Now, let us uh, give the focus to the uh, word word that is definition of word is any element belonging to any z 2 to the power n it is z 2 to the power 2 z 2 to the power 3 these are all known as words that is 0 1 is a word of length 2 0 0 1 1 1 0 all are word of length 2. Similarly, these are all uh, words of length 3 many more are there 5 more are there for words of length 3 where each of these a 1 a 2 a 3 belongs to z 2 to the power 3. Similarly, a word of length n is a word in the z 2 to the power n where each of these a i's are each of these a i's either 0 or 1. So, what we did here is we basically took the structure z 2 0 1. If we add any 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1 again, 1 plus 0 is 1 again, 1 plus 1 is 0 in our modulo 2. So, that this becomes a closed under addition. Similarly, you have got inverse, you have got identity, you have got uh, associative law true in this structure hence it becomes a group. Similarly, z 2 to the power 2 also becomes a group. If I add any two elements, I am going to get one more set from this only. For example, if I write a 0 0 plus 0 1, the end product is 0 1 only. If I add these two suppose 1 plus 1 0 and this is 1. So, 0 1 belongs to again this set only. If I add these two once again 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, I am going to get 0 0. So, this is my group structure again. Similarly, in uh, 3 dimensional z 2 power 2 3 also if I add any 2 elements I am going to get element from the one of these 8 elements. So, this is also closer under a usual modulo 2 operation and other 3 uh, properties of group also will be satisfied a negative element and all those and hence it becomes a group structure. In general z 2 to the power n satisfies all the 4 conditions of group structure where we should remember that we are in binary operations either 0 or 1 as future signals we are going to use them. So, that this word word is a uh, any element of z 2 to the power n here it is a z 2 to the power 2 which is 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 belong to z to the power 2 0 0 1 0 1 1 triple 1 can you say some more which is 1 0 0 1 1 0 all are words of length 3 which belong to z 2 to the power 3. So, in general we are taking word as a 0 1 signal of any length word is a 0 1 string of string of 0s and 1s. So, now component wise let us add addition modulo 2 let us be very very clear of what we are talking. If I add these two uh, what is the bit here uh, string uh, string length is 1 2 3 4 5 6. So, 2 elements of 6 length I am adding 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1 green color to green color, 
1 plus 1 is 0 because 1 plus 1 is 0 in our modulo 2 operation. Again 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. This becomes again a element of z2 to the power 6 or 6 dimensional 0 1 bit. Hence we should remember that we are going to have throughout this section we are going to have this addition modulo 2 operations 1 plus 1 0, 0 plus 0 0 and 1 plus 0 equal to 1, 0 plus 1 equal to 1. So now in general this combination, this pair where this plus is a component wise addition under this component wise addition under modulo 2 addition z2 to the power n plus this uh, addition defined is a group structure. Having understood this, now we shall come to the important point that is we want to use this for signals processing that is transmission of signals. Naturally whenever we are going to transfer a signal from one place to another place, transmission end to the receiver end because of some disturbance usually called as noise, we may not receive the correct signal like 0 may be received as 1 or 1 may be received as 0. Some people talk yes, yes, yes three times but it may be heard yes, yes, no like that. Similarly in zeros and 1 bits also there is a transmission. But here what happens whenever we write in terms of zeros and 1s the error detection becomes simple and retracing capturing back the transmitted signal becomes simple. Observe this. If you observe this that red color is not error 0 to 0, 1 to 1, 0, 0 to 0, 0 and 1, 1 last year 1, 1. But remaining black 0 becomes black 1 here and 1 is becoming 0 here in the proper position. The last signal 0 is becoming 1. So, in how many positions they are becoming different? They are becoming different in exactly 3 positions which is 1, 2, 3 which is uh, the C and R this code word that is this word is uh, after transmission which is received here C and R are not equal and they are differing in 3 places. Sometimes they may be equal, sometimes they may be differing in one place. This is a, a word of length 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in all the 9 places it may be different, in no places it may be different. All the permutation combinations are there. So error of 0 places, error of 1 place up to error of all the 9 places is possible. Totally in transmission of signals there may be error in the receiving end. So, what is our problem? Our problem is either to correct the error or, or to what is the transmitted signal we have to find. Let us see what is the correction error. Same thing I have taken. So, in order to get the same word back using the addition modulo 2, what do we do? I am adding this just like 10 equal to 8 plus 2. If 10 is received as 8, then plus 2 you have to add as an error. Similarly, in this uh, string of length 9, I have to add some 2 like number here which is error. It error is also one of the uh, elements of that z2 to the power 9. So, that is a 0 plus adding what I am going to get 0, 0. So, 1 plus here 1 I should get. So, 1 plus 0 I am going to get 1. Similarly, here in the third position black color 1 is there 0 I should get, but by adding 1 I will get 0 here like that, like that everywhere if you go on finding you are going to get 0, 0. For example, the last one I should get 0 here but transmitted is 1. I should get 0 here but transmitted is 1. So, this should be actually 1 here. So, that there is a correction 1 and so E is the error. This second one is known as error or error pattern. For every transmissions we can find the error. So, given C and C equal to R plus C given C and R we can find E, given R and E we can find C or given any two we can find the third one. This can be a small important question for you all. Given any two find other using the property C equal to R plus E. So, now let us see come to the probability structure which is 0 may be transferred as 1. I am concentrating on incorrect signals or 1 may be transferred as 0. Suppose out of 100, 2 are not transferred. 0 to 1, 2 are 0 to 1 are transferred that is there is error in 2 cases 2 by 100 is the probability P1. Similarly, 3 by 100 may be the probability of incorrect transmission of 1. 
that is in three cases one is transferred as 0 out of 100 3 by 100 p 2. So, sometimes p 1 and p 2 may not be equal we want to avoid that p 1 not equal to p 2 and hence if I combine these two p 1 equal to p 2 I am going to get a symmetric channel since we are going to use binary numbers 0 and 1 this is also known as more empathetically binary symmetric channel p 1 equal to p 2 equal to p that is here important probability of p means here probability of 0 is transmitted and 1 is received or reverse probability of 1 is transmitted and 0 is received is a small p. In total wrong transmission incorrect transmission is small p. So, correct transmission will be 1 minus p that is probability that has transmitted signal 0 or 1 is received not received correctly is p not received correctly means received incorrectly is p in total in binary symmetric channel probability that a transmitted sing signal in terms of 0 or 1 signal means either 0 or 1 string means combinations of 0 or 1 that becomes a word like 0 0 1 is a word but only simple 0 simply 1 is a signal. So, this is a wrongly incorrectly transmitted probability p correctly transmitted probability 1 minus p naturally if 1 is 2 by 100 1 more will be 98 by 100 like that that is why it is p and 1 minus p either this should happen or this should happen. Now, let us see one example for this the word c equal to this is transmitted with error pattern this find the word r ok also we shall find the probability that the signal is received incorrectly is 0 0.05 find the probability that r is received once again c is transmitted already but there is a error happened we know the error we have to find what is received signal also if probability of incorrect transmission if probability of incorrect transmission is 0 0.05 correct transmission will be 0 0.95 p is 0 0.05 1 minus p will be 0 0.95 then what is the probability that r is received for that what do we do here like this c is there now we want r but r equal to c plus e hence we are adding c and e given hence we, we get this uh, received signal r that is a uh, come to probability probability p equal to 0 0.05 c received in how many places it is differing 1 2 3 so incorrect in three places that is happening incorrect once incorrect twice incorrect thrice and incorrect four times i think in four times 1 2 3 4 yes uh, remaining all three times correct 1 minus p 1 minus p 1 minus p correct transmission. So, p raised to 4 1 minus p raised to 3 0 0.05 raised to 4 1 minus 0 0.05 raised to 3 hope you can find very easily probability that that signal is transmitted received this probability will be this small probability. Similarly, what is the probability that c is received as you can see by this picture c is there r is there c is received as r if at all incorrect transmission probability is 0 0.03. First of all observe in how many places they are differing first place to first place same first place to second place different similarly this uh, uh, 1 2 3 4 5 fifth place it is a uh, 0 here and it is 1 there exactly in two places they are differing incorrect transmission in two places correct transmission in five places. So, p square 1 minus p raised to 5 0 0.03 raised to 2 1 minus 0 0.03 0 0.97 raised to 5 is the probability that when you transmit this this r is received with this uh, information. Now, similarly uh, what is the error pattern if c and r are given what is the error pattern how do you find it c is there r is there what is the error pattern. So, I had to write r equal to c plus e e I do not know. So, a 1 a 2 a 8. So, what is a 1 for example, 1 plus a 1 equal to 1. So, a 1 should be 0 1 plus 0 equal to 1. Similarly, here 0 is there 1 plus a 2 1 plus 1 should be there. So, I have written 1 green color you see 1 plus a 2 is 1. Similarly, this uh, uh, pink color I should have 1 here if I add 1 that is uh, 6th position 6th position that is 0 I should I should get 1 plus 0 equal to 1. Similarly, I can get all the error pattern. So, given received and transmitted we can find error pattern also 
can be a very simple question to you. Similarly, let us take one more binary channel. Incorrect transmission is 0 0.06. This is a signal of any signal. You can just for example say I have taken, this is not necessary to quote also, any any signal you can take, this is not necessary to quote. Suppose uh, j2 to the power 9, 9 bit signal is there, string of length 9, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Then what is the probability that a transmitted signal have no errors only? That is, there is no p, p raised to 0, only one error, p raised to 1, double error, p raised to 2, triple error, p raised to 3. But it will not be simply p raised to 1, single error means p raised to 1, 1 minus p raised to 8 and all the permutation combinations of 1 error 9c1. 2 error 9c2, 3 error 9c3. Let us see the answer. For no error, it is 9c0, I have not written it is 1. So, 0 0.06 raised to 0, 1 minus 0 0.06 raised to 9. Here it is 9c1 into raised to 1, raised to 8, 9c2 into raised to 2, raised to 7, 9c3 raised to 3, raised to 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 7 plus 2, 9, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 0, 9. This pattern should be followed. Here 9C1, 9C2, 9C3 should be multiplied. Similarly, suppose a binary symmetric channel has probability P equal to 0.88 of correct transmission, okay. then reverse we have taken, correct transmission is 0.88, then incorrect transmission is 0.12, then what are these exactly 0 errors, exactly 1 error, at the most 1 error, all these patterns, not more than 5 errors out of 8. Out of it, what are the possibilities? Zero error is possibility. Up to all the eight errors are the possibilities. At least one error. At the most seven errors. At least one means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not more than five means maximum five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. All the bits with error means exactly eight errors. Not more than two. So not more than two means two is also two is also not there. That is. 0 or 1 or 2 errors. At the most 7, 0 to 7 or 1 minus 8 and 1 minus 8 error. Let us see that quickly. 0 error, 8c0, 0, 0.12 raised to k, 0.88 raised to k. It is 1 minus p is 0.88 here. 1 error, 8c1, 0.12 raised to 1, 0.88 raised to 7. 2 errors, it is at the most 1, 0 or 1, that is important, maximum 1. Or means you have to add here and adding that these two p of 0 and p of 1, we are going to get the at the most 1 error. Similarly, not more than 5 means these possibilities, 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. All these ors are added here, plus, plus, plus and plus. So, it is a probability of 0, probability of 1, probability of 2, probability of 3 probability of 4, probability of 5, all addition together we are going to get not more than 5. Similarly, at least one is at least one is interesting, at least one is minimum 1 and maximum up to 8, that is 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8, which is 1 minus p of 0. So, which can be written as 1 minus whatever the probability is there. At the most 7 is also interesting, maximum 7 and uh, remaining below all are there 76543210 or 0 to 7 all are there or 8 is left here. So, 1 minus p of 8 we can write whichever is left 1 minus that always we can write. So, that makes the work simple otherwise you have to calculate all these hence it becomes more tedious. See that you do this also not more than 2 maximum 2 0 or 1 or 2 or is added probability of 0 plus probability of this is a wrong notation p of 0 plus p of 1 plus p of 2 I should write all bits error means exactly 8 errors. So, this is the addition. Now, we shall come to one more important topic. Having transmitted the code whether there is an error or not sometimes we do not understand at the receiving end. To make it recapturing the received signal whatever was the transmitted. Suppose we transmit 110. 110 is not received as 110. Then what is any treatment we can give it so that we can understand whether there is an error or not first of all. If there is understand that we can error is there to some extent we can minimize the error. For that this uh, encoding and decoding is uh, important. So, today's topic is apart from coding encoding 
and decoding. Let us understand the basic meaning of this first by definition. An encoding function is an one to one function that is for every number here there exists a number here. Suppose m is 8 dimensional n is 10 dimension for every 8 dimension number here there is a 10 dimension number here and if two numbers are different those two numbers are different here if two numbers are equal those two numbers are equal that becomes the definition of one to one function. So encoding function is an n to one function from one group of codes to the another group of numbers which provides a means. So encoding is a means facility to detect or to correct errors this is important what is encoding it is a provision or means or a tool which uh, detects or corrects the errors whatever error is there. In the previous one simply we were transmitting and trying to find the probability here we are one step ahead we are trying to detect whether error is there or not we are trying to correct error is there or not occur during the transmission of zeros and ones. This process of encoding is known as encoding process. So encoding is a basically a function that we should remember similarly decoding is a reverse function. So encoding is a function which takes a number from some three dimension to five dimension say decoding reverses that number but uh, reversing may not be the same number we may get. A decoding function is an onto function for every number from n dimension to m dimension back everywhere z2 I have written y do you remember because 0 1 binary bits we are going to use. So here decoding is a function from n dimension m dimension back here it was m dimension n there it is n to m you can notice that which provides again means to recapture the transmitted word received we are using and what was transmitted we are trying to uh, see that uh, this process is known as decoding process. But the word after encoding using that E function whatever we encode is a code word or simply a code the rule given by this function is also known by the code what is the code means this function E okay. So let us utilize this uh, knowledge to have some examples. Suppose there are different types of codings let us discuss uh, uh, some of them. So discuss some of them let us take some examples if I take this example suppose I am having a code function from let me take uh, 4 dimension to 5 dimension so 4 to 5 6 to 7 9 to 10 so m2 m plus 1 first in the beginning I take one procedure there are different procedures this is the one procedure I take a word from 4 dimension suppose I take 1 0 0 1 I can take 1 1 1 0 I can take 0 1 1 1 0 I can take all 1 1 1 I can take 1 1 0 1 maybe repetition and 0 0 0 1 okay still many more I can take if I take if I code this by using some code operation here e of then I take a rule I add all this 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus uh, first I add all this which is 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 so what I did what I did 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 under the addition modulo 2 this becomes 1 plus 1 which is 0 only. So this uh, 0 number I add to this extra and I code it like this 1 0 0 1 0 this is the extra number added purposely I have written bigger font but this is the same 0. One more suppose I code this after coding this is a code word this was a word from z to the power 4 after coding we get this this signal we are going to trans, transmit afterwards. So what I am doing going to do here I am going to add all this 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 this is 1 this 1 I am going to attach to the last bit which is 4 dimensional number I am going to make a 5 dimensional number. By doing this you just keep on observing something more what I am observing suppose this is w1, w2, w3, w4. So here I have added all summation of wi, i equal to 1 to 4 and that is added as a w fifth element that is added as a fifth element. Let us do all these things can you help me doing all these things 
So code all these words and check cross check whether you are also doing correctly or not. So and what is the corollary of this? Let us find what is the corollary of this. For example, if I add all this 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0. This is going to be there are two two numbers here with 1. So this is going to be 0. There are odd number of 1s here this is going to be 1. So that if there are even number of 1s we are going to add zeros. If there are odd number of 1s we are going to add 1 that is also one of the observations. For this summation wi is our e function. So here what happened 0 I have to add 0 1 1 0 1 more 0. So similarly if I add all this 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 there are 4 1s and hence I am going to get 0 1 1 1 1 0. Similarly here all number of 1s are there 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 which is 1 here. So 1 1 0 1 here one more 1 I have to add. Are you following it? Similarly the last one is quite simple shall you write it 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 equal to 1. So that one more 1 I have to add here 0 0 0 1 1. So by this what we did? Code the word by writing a last signal as summation sum of all the previous given signals with respect to modulo 2. So in that case what is happening? If there are even number of 1s add 0 here. If there are odd number of 1s add here that is append by 1 here. So now when you transfer this totally what is happening in the right hand side see something amazing is happening here how many number of 1s are there 2 here 4 here 2 here 4 here 4 here 2 all are even number of 1s. So one thing we are sure that the word which you are going to this way the word we are going to transmit afterwards the word which you are going to transmit is going to have always even number of 1s. Suppose at the receiving end if there are odd number of 1s then we know that there is an error there. Like that this E function is going to help us to detect the error. So first objective was to detect the error. So hence uh, let me take uh, uh, one more set. So now suppose from E is from 7 dimension to naturally 8 dimension I have to take. If I take E as 7 dimension 8 dimension let me take for example some numbers 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 again 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 and with the help of same same encoding function if I if I encode it encode means we are giving some treatment encode means we are going to give some treatment here what is the treatment here two type two way we can tell the treatment what we are giving is add all these with respect to addition modulo 2 whatever the value comes you write you join to this append this or if there are even number of 1s write 0 here if there are odd number of 1s write 1 here. So here if I count here 1 2 3 4 so even number of 1s are there to the given number whatever the number is there first you write it and afterwards write one more 0 extra here to whole number. Here 1, 2, 3, 3 odd numbers are there. So what you do here see 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 what I shall write 0 or 1 no it should be 1 that is right. Similarly here how many 1s are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 apart from that one more 1 I have to add. So naturally what is happening is if there are even number of 1s we are not going to add any 1 here that is going to remain as even. If there are odd number of 1s we are going to add here 1 so totally there will be even number of 1s. So hence the code word always contains after, after operating E after giving treatment to E the code word is always op containing the even number of 1s not always in this code. So this code is a special code like that. So now can you decode them if at all using this structure it is coded can you decode them. Let us find whether we can decode. Suppose using the same thing z2 to the power 5 to z2 to the power 4. Suppose the words are 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 
So many things with respect to 5 elements I can write. If at all I want to decode it, if at all I want to decode it, you can very easily imagine what we did in the encoding process, why this 0 has come because of the even number of 1s. So this 0 has come because of even number of 1s, this 0 is extra, this we have to just leave it, 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 okay. So without further thinking because whatever the signal is there, the last signal is not there, it was it is because of the treatment, it is because of that code function, it is there. So you have to just leave this uh, and take the first four 1 1 1 0 1 1 and 0 0 0 and 1 1 1 1. Of course, here we can understand, is there an error here? Yes, because no, because here even number of 1s are there, okay. And uh, there is a possibility that it may be 0 and 1 here, but there is a less possibility. Here we are sure that error is there, here we are not sure that there is error is there, but here we are sure because this should always contain even number of 1s, but we are decoding leaving the last number, decoding leaving the last number, because we have added last number here, here you have to leave the last number. Can you similarly decode, can you similarly decode D from Z2 to the power 8 to Z2 to the power 7, if at all I am having 1, 1. 1 1 1 1 0 0 or 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1. So, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 more 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0. So, if at all I want to decode all these things, decode all these things to the 7 dimension number, what you have to do? Yes, all of you are right what you are thinking, the last digit you have to just, have to just leave it. Such type of decoding is known as m plus 1 m parity check. So far what we discussed is known as m plus 1 to m parity check because it is 9 to 8, 6 to 5. So instead of m to m plus 1, it is known as m plus 1 to m parity check. So that here quickly. 1 1 1 1 1 1 0. So, all zeros and double 1 here 0 1 0 1 0 1 at last 1. So, these all are last one are left you can see very easily, but I need not have always this type of I need not have always this type of coding. Let me take one more type of coding okay that is let in one more type of coding we still have a better one, we still have a better one to recapture the word. It is suppose this is known as 3m to m parity, parity check. In this 3m to m parity check, what we are going to do? This you listen very carefully. Now suppose I take some number here in the two dimension and I transform this, I leave some, do some treatment using code function E and 3 times I have to multiply here m is 2 I have selected 3 m is 3 into 2 is 6, 6 dimension number. So, what we do simply suppose a number is there, a number is there, a number is there, a number is there, there are 4 possibilities in 2 dimension which are e function, e function, e function, e function. This new type of e function, so just forget about that old type of e function where we are just adding whether how many number of 1s are there, we are adding one more, not like that. 3m parity check means we are transforming into 6 dimensional number just by writing 3 times repetition, 3 times repetition, 3 times repetition. What is the use of this? Use is many because while decoding you will understand what is the use. First let us code it. So, these are all code words I am writing once again, code words after giving treatment whatever we write, these are all code words. So, let us do this 101010, actually we should not write any gap here, but to understand this gap is being written. Similarly, 01010101111111, very very fine. Now, let us try to decode these things, let us try to decode these things. Suppose decoding is from 6 dimension to naturally 2 dimension, because 6 divided by 3 I have to do. 
any six dimension number let us write 1111000 all 11111 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so listen it carefully for first number at least decoding gives like this so after decoding what dimension number i should get right two dimension number so if at all i should get a two dimension number suppose i take the first element this is my first element second element third element fourth element fifth element sixth element i take the first element and add 3 to it okay so what i am going to get 1 4 okay so and 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 if at all i want to decode this maximum number of whether zeros are there or ones are there in the respective positions we are checking in what type of respective positions we are checking let us see it is a big structure so if at all if i take 1 you take uh, 1 plus 2 as 3 3 plus 2 as 5 once again first bit 1 you go on adding this 2 here okay 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 2 5 that is first position third position fifth position are you observing it 1 1 0 if there is maximum number of ones you write 1 here if there are maximum number of zeros you should write 0 in this case what is happening there are two ones here and only one zero is there so that i am writing 1 as a first bit so 2 bit remaining come to 2 and go on adding 2 here 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 2 6 so that 2 position 4 position 6th position this rounded positions there are maximum number of zeros are there 2 zeros are there hence i am going to write 0 this becomes our decoded function similarly first position third position fifth position all are 1 remaining all are zeros first position third position fifth position maximum number of zeros are there similarly remaining all are zeros so i should write one more so that it is zero instead of zero if i write one also i am going to get double zero quite interesting if i write zero also i am going to get double zero so different things can be decoded to the same number so now here definitely it is a one one this can be taken for nine dimension also for example if i take nine dimensional one so how i decoded it this number is s1 s2 or i'll write here s1 s2 where s1 is s1 is 1 suppose it is r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 r6 if r1 r2 r1 r3 r5 contain maximum number of ones 0 if it contains maximum number of zeros similarly s2 equal to same thing i should write equal to 1 or 0 if r2 r4 r6 once again what is s1 here s1 s2 s1 s2 s1 s2 s1 s2 this s1 is because of first position third position fifth position that is r1 r3 r5 received words that is why i have written r1 r3 r5 if they contain maximum number of ones you write these contain maximum number of ones you write one here otherwise you write zero here similarly s2 also in second position fourth position sixth position if they contain maximum number of ones you write one otherwise zero also similarly in nine dimension also this happens we shall take exactly one definition and see the different values again i am there in 3m2 m parity check or this is known as triple triple repetition triple repetition code by doing this it becomes simple to decode so that let me take three dimension to naturally three times this is nine dimension so what is the treatment i want to give triple repetition so any any three dimension number you take 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 uh, 0 and some more we shall take 
after coding it using or after encoding it the code words we are going to get are just repetition of all these three times hope you have already written it coding code using 3m m repetition code means very very simple write whatever the word is given three times that replica what is that here 1001001000 Zero one one zero one one zero one one, which is triple one triple one triple one, which is one zero zero one zero zero one zero zero, or one one zero one one zero one one zero. This is not so difficult, but let us discuss about the reverse aspect. The reverse aspect is d of suppose nine dimension number. I am going to take nine dimension number. If at all I take one one zero zero one 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 zero one two three four five six seven one two three. 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 this has to be transferred from nine dimension to three dimension using a special treatment using a special treatment for this let me denote them by r1 similarly r2 this is 3 fourth position fifth position sixth position seventh eighth and ninth positions so which are all R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, which is a total R word received. Now, what I am going to write is equal to a three-dimension number S1, S2, S3. This S1 is equal to either one or zero. I will write one if maximum number of ones are there in in first position plus three. Then we have to take one plus four, one plus three, four, four plus three, seven. So, maximum number of ones are there in R1, R4, R7. Or maximum number of zeros are there in same R1, R4, R7. S2 equal to again one or zero. S2 equal to. S2 means second position. You start go on adding three to this second position, fifth position, and eighth position, which is if R2, R5, R8. these positions contain more number of ones then you write one here these position contain more number of zeros you write zero here what is the last one last one is s3 is also one zero then you start from 3 take a jump of 3 3 6 9 r3 r6 r9 if they contain maximum number of ones you write one here if they contain maximum number of zeros here you write zero here so shall we write that then for this Our S one will be one, four, and seven. So which I have marked here one, four, seven. So one, zero, zero. So I should write zero here because two zeros are there. Similarly, second, four, second, fifth, and eighth. Second position, fifth position, eighth position. All are one. So maximum number of ones are there. Similarly, third position. Sixth position, ninth position, zero one one maximum number of ones are there, so that S one, S two, S three. This is going to be zero one one, so zero one one. So this is our decoding function with respect to three M M repetition code. So using this, uh, sometimes there are different possibilities of decoding function. That also we shall see. Let us revise uh, what we did so far. What is meant by decoding function? first of all uh, what we took suppose an encoding function is from eighth dimension to ninth dimension okay m to m plus 1 this is m m plus 1 parity check code is defined as w1 to w8 if there is a this the word has to be coded then i have to add w9 how i add w9 you have seen some examples now Add the previous all numbers summation of W I to get W nine. This answer will be either one or zero because of sum with respect to modulo two. So this significance is what? This significance is the transmitted number is always having given number of ones. Okay, this is important question for you. Discuss the significance of such type of encoding function. So let us see that. Further. There are some probability questions also there, but let us discuss the significance first. See, when I transform this, W nine is either one or 
0. So, if uh, it has even number of 1s you write 0, if the, the if it has got odd number of 1s you have got 1 that means w1 to w8 suppose even number of 1s are there then I am writing 0, w1 to w8 if odd number of 1s are there I am writing 1. That means all these 9 elements after coding always contain in both the cases the code word contains even number of 1s. This highlight is important. The transmitted signal whatever the receiver end is there should have even number of 1s. If there are odd number of 1s 100 percent sure that you are going to have error. This is the detecting error of tool which is M M plus 1 parity checking. So, coming back to this probability example this is extra. Suppose there is a p equal to 0 0.0002 that is 2 by 1000 2 in 1000 is the probability of incorrect transmission of signals find the probability that a code word is received with at most one error. Code word need not be given here because it is 8 dimensional at most one means 0 or 1. So, 8 dimension number you can see that at most one is 8 C 0 P raise to 0 and 9 p raise to 1 and 8, 8 c 9 c 0, 9 c 1 you can multiply. This type of examples we have done already. The previous example is not different from this example. That is why I written 1 1. An encoding function e from z to the power m to z to the power m plus 1 is defined like this. The m plus 1 th last one is 0 if this contains even number of 1s and 1 if this contains odd number of 1s. It is same thing as this summation, same summation. So, both are same. Then the questions are there, find find these code words, decode these words. So, let us see how we do it. Encoding words, here even number of 1s are there, that is 0, 0 1s are there. Here also even number of 1s are there, so it should be 0 here. If here also even number of 1s are there, 0. Odd number of 1s are there, here it should be 1, very nice. Here, odd number of 1s are there, it should be 1, odd number of 1s are there, here 1, even number of 1s are there, here it should be 0. So, let us have some important corrections in this, which is, if I take correction here, so here 0 is added, correct, here 1, 1, 0, even number of 1s are there, this should be, this should be 0, this should be 0, here even number of 1s are there, it should be 0. Here odd number of 1s are there it should be 1, here odd number of 1s are it should be 1, odd number of 1s are there it is correct. So, that here even number of 1s are there the last number should be 0 number, the last number should be a 0 number. Hence, you are going to have this type of coding. So, similarly, if I take the decoding part, it is quite interesting. Decoding part, if at all you see, Decoding part is suppose this is the number we got received. Decoding part is just re, uh, remove this last number, remove this last number, remove this last number, remove this last number. Similarly, in 3M M triplet, triplet code, what we are going to do? If this is a number M, 3M type of number that is W1 to W8, we are going to repeat or W1 to WM, we are going to repeat. That is, suppose for example, this one is there, triple 0, then how we have encoded it? Triple 0 3 times, 0 1 0 3 times and so on. How do you have encoded it? If uh, suppose for example, this I am going to tell you, first position, third position, fifth position, 1, 3, 5, all are 0, so 0, second, fourth, sixth, 1, maximum number of 1s. Here also, first position, third position, fifth position, there are two zeros and only 1 1. So, 0 remaining second, fourth, sixth, there is only 1 0 2 1s. So, that 1. Similarly, all can be decoded. So, can you decode this then? First position, third position and fifth position. So, more number of zeros are there. So, 0. Second, four, six, second, four and 6 more number of 1s are there 1 like that using 3 m m triple repetition code we can decode uh, the mean given thing. So, now here also if uh, using this uh, triple repetition code how we can decode this number let us see let us see this decoding number. So, total it is 
first one fourth one and seventh one so we are going to have one second one fifth one and seventh one you are going to have zero similarly you can generate one zero so that the last one is can you have different signals for this so first position this is one possibility same signal can be repeated one more possibility so this also can be repeated one more possibility the meaning is the last example why i have taken is received end is same received end is same but uh, recapturing sometimes there are different possibilities only thing is this zero is because of maximum number of zero in first position 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 position fourth position and seventh position or first position fourth position and seventh position you can see that so 0 0 2 0 so that you can just just differ here one and i am going to get different one or here one i am going to get different one okay so that the number of ones or number of maximum number of zeros without changing i can generate still some more codes so this is our basic uh, uh, coding decoding function so today what we have learnt is encoding we can give the treatment and afterwards we can transmit those transmitted we can get back to the same dimension number by decoding but decoding encoding has got capacity of uh, detecting whether there is error or not sometimes we are having correcting some errors or not of course in the some more next classes actually what type of errors can be corrected what type of errors can be detected this also we shall see but still better words better decodings using matrices is more important hence we use better and better decoding functions and encoding functions so are you ready to listen to matrix functions also in the next class hence if you are uh, ready to use it do some matrix multiplication and be prepared and come till that you are having a nice time so read and write once again practice once again what is this code word decode function so thank you so much for listening to this again practice all these what is a code word what is word and uh, what is a decode function what is a encode function how to use probabilities in uh, different types of errors and uh, uh, summarize this in your own sense hence uh, what is m2 m plus 1 parity check and what is uh, m to 3m uh, 3m to m we don't call m to 3m we call 3m to m uh, triple repetition code in that triple repetition code what is uh, like this uh, what is uh, how to get decode the numbers we should be able to write and uh, once we are able to write uh, we can further learn so thank you so much for listening to this till the next session see you bye goodbye thank you